These calm waters on the southern coast of Australia belie the frenetic mystery that's unfolding beneath them. The giant spider crab, or great spider crab, which is the species we have here uh, gathering in big numbers, is a very mysterious species. So there's not much that's known at all um, about its ecology and about its life cycle. Thousands of crabs come here each year to shed their old shells. It's not known how many there are, where they come from, or why they gather. Although it's thought they're seeking safety in numbers while they're vulnerable. And then the deeper ones. No, you think these ones? Yeah, these are the ones. Okay. Dr. Elodie Kamplas has had underwater cameras monitoring this year's aggregation. We took GPS points for them all, so we're now navigating to these points. Uh, Gunny will be in the water um, finding them and bringing them back to the surface. The location of the crabs has become a closely guarded secret for many locals here in Port Phillip Bay after past clashes with fishers and a campaign to protect the species during molting. Wow. <laughs> Got up. Yeah, some signs of some uh, crabs have been around, so you can see a little bit. Deakin University started its research two years ago, but funding is minimal and inconsistent. There's no guarantee the cameras will go out again next year. We know so little about spider crabs, but also a lot of species on what's called the Great Southern Reef, so the southern coastline of Australia. So for me, that's very concerning. And the more information we have about these species, the more we know what pressures they might be under and, and you know, how to look after them, really. Eight cameras have been underwater for the past month and they've recorded thousands and thousands of images. So now it's hoped that members of the public can help check them all. These are the images that are collected. They're put online where citizen scientists can review them. People can also log other crab sightings. It's super important. Um, we have limited capacity and we have a vast number of images. Um, so, yeah, people helping us review and annotate images is really crucial. But there's a long way to go. It's been great through citizen science to get involvement from the community, but really we need uh, more support and long-term funding to be able to sustain that effort and really answer all the questions that we have about spider crabs. Until then, they'll remain a riddle wrapped in a new shell. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Rye.